Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Folks, here he is, the one, the only, Nate Diaz making the walk yet again. It's been a long time, but Nate Diaz is back tonight. He has put in all the right work. You know, few guys in this division work harder than Nate Diaz. It's good to see him back. In the and you notice it, John, right? The cardio. The cardio is one thing that stands out about Nate Diaz. He looks like he's just touching guys with all of the strikes, but the buildup from all the, the activity that he puts out usually will make his opponents wilt. And once he gets into the ground, he's a jiu-jitsu black belt that can finish the fight with a number of submissions. Yeah, he'll hit you with the open hand, too. He'll invoke that Stockton slap. You think you see that tonight? Stockton slap, this is so disrespectful. But I love watching this. so neat here. Gotta get you a Lafayette slap or something. <laughs> Good to see Nate Diaz back here tonight, one of the biggest fan bases in the world, and they are all watching the pride of Stockton, California here tonight. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. Diaz is nine years the elder. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in London. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hamzat Bors Chibaya! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, ladies and gentlemen, and Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 
Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to You be. have got to free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start building towards... He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if they are, I'm trying it. There are a few things more fun to than scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, so he postures up here, and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Two minutes to go in round one. Solid strike on the ground. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. Well, he's got his back now. While maybe cranking the neck a little bit, the question is, can he get that rear naked choke? He is doing a really good job of relaxing. Not oh, man, that was slick. And they both stand up. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Oh, straight right. Oh! Beautiful body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Round one winding down here. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. Are you ready? You ready? Round two here. to the jab now, no good. All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie. Oh, here he goes. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Actually got the takedown. Oh, wow, oh, oh! Oh, countering, it looks like with a Von flu choke, or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent, incredible. Submission defense there. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Three minutes to go. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Diaz. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. There is the tap. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job 
securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. Oh, my goodness! So, yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique, and ultimately, that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 12 seconds of round number 2. Going the winner by tap out, Hobbs and Bors so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight, got the submission victory.